Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. Let me talk to you about temptation. What are you tempted by? Ooh, making my eyes go funny doing that. Uh, what is it that you're tempted by? Are there things that tempt you? Uh, we can talk about superficial things, can't we? Like chocolate, cakes, chocolate and cakes together. Uh, thing, things that we like to eat, maybe. Uh, things that we might like to... What, what is it your temptation? If we go a bit deeper, it might be things we might like to read or watch that we might shouldn't do or is not good for us. There might be things that we like to surround ourselves with. Excessive things, perhaps, to make us feel better about ourselves. But there might be other temptations. It could be... A serious temptation like alcohol or illicit drugs. It could be a serious temptation like gambling. Uh, all sorts of different things can tempt us away from living the kind of life that we know we ought to be living. I wonder what your temptation is. For me, it's definitely cake. I, I, I just quite partial to a piece of cake. I say that again, I quite like a piece of cake now and then. You know, if you ever felt like Passing on, to, never mind, okay. Uh, but temptation can be a difficult thing as well as a superficial thing. I wonder what you're tempted by. Here's a passage which talks about temptation. It's in the letter of James in the New Testament. James is writing to the new churches, trying to encourage them. And he says this, this is James chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. Each one is tempted when, by his own evil desire, he is dragged away and enticed. Then, after desire ha has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Well, that's quite a serious situation to be in, isn't it? Each one, that's each one of us, is tempted, is likely to be, and can be tempted, when, by our own evil desire, those things which are in us, and tend to speak out through us and manifest themselves in our lives, when our own evil desire, the own things that we want, he is dragged away and enticed. So this thing that draws us away might be selfishness, might be a bad temper. It might be all sorts of things that we're tempted to do and be and proclaim. These things drag us away from the path that we should be living. Then, after this desire has conceived after this has started it gives birth to sin which is thinking and doing things that are wrong things that are not right in god's sight desire and evil desire give birth to sin wrong thinking and wrong doing and sin when it is full grown gives birth to the worst of them all it gives birth to death because sin is this barrier between us and god which means we can no longer inherit the kingdom of god we can no longer be sure of our place in heaven because of this barrier that we all have. That barrier has to be broken somehow. Not by us, but by him. It's broken by Jesus going to the cross for our sakes. It's easy for us to be tempted to do things, think things, say things that we shouldn't. And we mustn't give in to that, otherwise that gives birth to doing wrong things. And that gives birth to us being separated from our heavenly father, which means we won't inherit heaven, which means we will be dead in our graves. The other side of the coin, of course, the good news is that Jesus has come to set us free from all of that. If we believe in him and follow, in, follow his ways for our living, we won't give in to temptation and we won't be, become sinful people and we won't be trapped by death. We will be set free by what Jesus has done for all of us on the cross. Amen. See you soon. Bye for now.